be teaching you all of the tips and tricks I used to do when I first got into real estate, as well as what I do right now and teach my students to do right now currently. So when I first got in the real estate industry, I invested in myself very early on. In fact, what I did was I bought a moving van. That's right, see that? That's a moving van. And if you can tell from the picture, I'm quite a bit younger. I did it early on. So you're like, what, Krista, you bought a moving van? Yes, I invested in myself because I know it takes money to make money. So I want you to start asking yourself the question, Instead of saying how you can't do something, figure out how you can. There's no way in the world when I first got into the real estate industry, you might be in the lending industry, that if I didn't do things differently and think outside of the box, I would never be where I am today. I never would have averaged 135 homes a year. So you've gotta be innovative and different. Now, why was the moving van so helpful? How did this moving van right here help me? Well, it helped me for a couple of things. Number one, nobody else was doing it. Number two, it added value to my clients. When my clients work with me, they know they could actually use my moving van to move. But here's the even cooler thing. As I sold a house in the neighborhood, I had my sign up. Then as the seller would use my moving van with my picture plastered all over it, it would then be marketing myself in that neighborhood as well as when they drove to their new location and in the new neighborhood. It was an absolute marketing piece for me. It was advertising. So I paid to give my customers a better experience, to make their life easier, to add value, and also to market myself. That was a strategy that helped me sell hundreds and hundreds of homes. And here's the cool thing. Out of all the times I rented out, number one, I had a really good contract. I had them sign. Only one time did that van get in a crash. And guess who actually crashed it? One of my employees. So it never ever got ruined from actually letting a customer buy. It. So how does this apply to you? You might not want to buy a moving van, but what can you do? What can you invest in? Remember, rich people think about the investment, what the value of their investment is. Poor people think about what it's going to cost them, okay? How can you invest in yourself and in your business in a way that is unique and different, that adds value to your client, that positions you as different, but also can help market yourself? Let's think of a few things together. Number one, a moving van. Number two, what if you gave boxes to your clients? You actually dropped off boxes and some packaging tape and the boxes actually had a picture of yours truly, meaning you. So here's how boxes helps them. Number one, it's convenient. Number two, it shows you actually care. Number three, if you're smart and have your marketing or advertising on it, most people don't throw boxes away. They actually recycle them. They can give it to somebody else. So now you're marketing yourself. How else can you market yourself and add value? Well, this is what I used to do. I would give my clients, this is a picture of me obviously, but I would get a picture of their family and I had somebody in the community locally make this for me and I would give my clients this actual gift. I will tell you that I've seen this in hundreds of people's homes and here's the thing about when you give a gift. Every time somebody looks at the gift, they think about you. Now notice, my name is nowhere on this. My logo is nowhere on this. How many times has somebody given you a gift and it's got a logo of their business on it? That doesn't help them. They don't care about that. People care about this and they think about me every single time they're going to look at that picture. It's a gift that actually has value and meaningful to the client. Then we're thinking, well, Krista, how does gifting them a picture of them help you? Well, think about it. It's pretty cool. It reminds them of me, but then when people come over, they go, oh my gosh, I love that gift, that picture. It's so pretty because it's very, very unique and different. And they say, Oh yeah, my real estate agent, Krista Mayshore, gave that to me. So I want you to start thinking in your business, how can you be different? How can you be innovative? How can you be unique? But also, how can you add value that also helps you as well? So again, I guarantee you that if you do something as innovative and invest in something like a moving van, your leads are gonna double, quadruple overnight. Now, if you're afraid to make that kind of investment, go back and watch this video because we give you a lot of other ideas that's not only gonna help you, but also is going to help the consumer. Let me know in the comments below exactly what you're gonna do. And if you'd like to find more relevant current tips on how to be innovative and unique and stand out in your real estate or lending business, just in the comments below, you can attend my three-day virtual Unstoppable Agent training, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.